If you watched my video uh, earlier of me uh, installing the CPU, I'm not going to just show you how to uh, install a stick of RAM, which I have here in the box. It's just a single stick, okay, but this is dual channel. In the future, I'll probably just get another one, but for now, this one's going to be more than enough. So, I'm just, uh, just taking out the box off camera here quickly. Alright, and then as you can see, it uh, is just the stick like so. Which is a Kingston HyperX Black uh, RAM stick. It's uh, four gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 megahertz, and uh, I'm just going to show you how to install that now. So, uh, like with all Intel's, I'm sure it doesn't particularly actually matter. I'm just going to install this in the first DIMM slot. Um, normally, with dual channel, um, you would have four, uh, four four of these slots on uh, sort of you know main main boards um, you install it on the two that's furthest away from the chip so say there was four here you'd install it in this one and then not the third one but the fourth one so as I only have the one I'm going to install it in this second slot which is labeled as you can see there dim two okay so I'm going to lock that one back up now to show you how to do it all right there is a slightly off centered um, notch okay as you can see here which is slightly to the left it's not in the middle that just corresponds with the notch that is here which is again is slightly off center so line up the connector um, and as um, I guess you just very gently okay there's no force required at all just gently uh, drop it in all right and then you're going to need to do a final click. Now, as this doesn't have one of these locking tabs, I'm going to push this side in first, as you can see here. I'll zoom in. It's um, it just has a it just has a tab here. It doesn't open because if you were to have a graphics card in it, would just hit it would hit it and block it. So it just has one of those locking tabs. So I'm just going to push this corner in first. Click. It's quite a satisfying click noise, and then you just push down. The next side, okay, and as you can see here, the tab's closed, which has uh, locked the stick of RAM in place. So that's how you do that. To remove it, it's exactly the opposite. Push down on the tab, okay, like so. Lift it up, and then out from the other side, okay, and that's the stick of RAM removed. Very simple, that's how to do it. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers for now.